Okay, so today we're doing another range basket workout. So if you're struggling hitting pin high shots and controlling that distance, this drill today will help you get there. Let's rock. So this is the drill when you're at the range, if you just wanna hit a bucket of balls, this is what you need to do if you want to learn how to hit pin high shots more consistently. And we're only going to work today with four clubs, okay? My pitching wedge, my seven iron, my five iron, and my three wood. That's it, my three metal. And what we're going to do is you're going to start off with your wedge, and we're going to hit five shots. I'm going to start with a full shot pitching wedge, as far as I can hit it. And then I'm going to back it up. I'm going to hit five total balls, right? The next shot, I want five yards shorter. The next shot, five yards shorter. The shot after that, five yards shorter, so on and so forth, for five shots with my wedge. Then I go to my seven iron, and I do the exact same thing. Full swing seven iron, then I back it up five yards, five yards, five yards, five yards, for five shots. Then I do that with my five iron, and then I even do that with my three wood. I wanna learn how to distance control my three wood. Believe me, you might not use that shot often, but when you start getting into your fuller swings, you want to learn how to control your body and your movement and your control and your feel and you get that by doing it with these four specific clubs. You want a wedge, you want a mid iron, you want a long iron and you want a full swing. And it helps if you go to a range that has a lot of yardage signs out there because you really want to get specific and exact with your yardage. And I'll take my uh, range finder and I'll shoot trees and flags so I know exactly what five yards shorter is every single time. All right, and we're just gonna work through our bucket of balls like that, starting with our pitching wedge. Always shoot your yardages from where you're hitting from. You know, I know they have giant signs out there, but it doesn't mean it's perfect. Like 125 from here is 122, and I wanna know that exact number so then I can adjust from there. Good, so that went about 130. Now I want to go 125. So third shot would go 120 now. Now 115. You get it? 110 now, right? Now we go to the seven iron, exact same thing. Full swing, see where we're at, and then adjust five, 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 five. This will help you determine also your best shot, like which one is most solid and what that feels like for you. So, but you wanna start out with your farthest distance first. Hit it the farthest and then back it down. And that's how you develop control instead of going from shortest and then trying to max out at the end. We don't wanna do that. We wanna make sure you get it right. Go from the longest distance first and back it in. And we're hitting, and I just pull out five balls, hit those shots, really focus on five balls at a time, and then I move on. And I get to my three wood, and then after I finish my three wood, I go back to my pitching wedge and I start over. This is, this is a very tried and true, I mean, I've worked through this over and over, tried it multiple different ways, so, just trust that this is the best way to achieve the results you're looking for when you're trying to develop that feel and perfect pin high distance control, okay? Do this drill in this way, exactly how it's put together so that you will maximize your practice time and you will get better faster. Look, it's gonna be difficult to tell if it goes five yards short or not, but again, you're just trying to feel that same five yard shorter swing with your three wood or your three metal as you did with every other club. There you go, and you just start all over again and work through your entire basket of balls just like this.
There you go, that's the proper way to work through a basket of balls. If you wanna hit more pin high shots, have better distance control, better feel, ultimately make a lot more birdies, this is the drill to work on for that, all right? Hope you liked the video, hope it helps your game. Please comment below, let me know how things are working, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We'll see you in the next video.